y'all, it's me again, it's Ariana, and I'm bringing you some more awesomeness because we are gonna delve into some more AMD products as well as a little sneak peek of some Windows 11 features. And I know it's really exciting, so of course I'm gonna walk you through two of these sexy laptops I have right here behind me, and I'll help you figure out which is the one for you. Now I know picking a laptop is it really depends on a lot of factors and your lifestyle, of course. So for someone like me, I'm a content creator and a gamer. I love streaming, playing video games, you know, working from home and working outside of home, doing content creation in terms of video editing, photo editing, and the like. So I need to find a device that's powerful enough to help me do what I do. So on my left, we have the ROG Zephyrus. This is if you are like gamer, multitasker, it's got two windows we have one up here and down here and this one is touch screen and we have the HP Victus which is your like go-to budget gaming laptop that can do it all so I'll give you guys a sneak preview of each laptop so you can be the one to decide so what you see right in front of you is the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 it's got two screens the second display actually is a touch screen and it's got the latest AMD Ryzen 9 5900 HX CPU and it's crazy because you can get up to 4k on this 120 Hertz and it's just a really great way to elevate your experience because it's got really good audio too what I love is the screen pad, which makes multitasking super easy, and it also features optimized apps that can really enhance your workflow. So while you're doing something on your main monitor, you can have everything else, like for your stream or your chat, on your second display. If you're working on something creative, you can obviously have your workspace on top and everything else on the bottom. And if you have to do intensive tasks, you can overclock the CPU and it can handle things like photo editing, 3D rendering, streaming, and much more. This laptop really understood the assignment, you know? It's a good balance of gaming and multitasking all bundled up into this powerful machine. So if you're looking for something like this, then you know what to do. Next up, we have the HP Victus. It has the AMD Ryzen 7 5800H. It's got one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and of course, updated with a new Windows 11. What's cool is that this FHD display runs on 144 Hz, so you're getting that smooth, tasty uh, screen display. What's awesome is that this actually has a really great cooling system that prevents overheating. It's made for play with that fast refresh rate and you can get that ultra sharp visual experience whether it be through gaming or even watching movies or editing videos. I'm just happy that this one already has the Windows 11 upgrade and this is actually being rolled out into devices over the coming year. So at the end of the day, I think my choice is going to be the HP Victus, mostly I think because it is a nice way to kind of like level up my work away from home if I don't have my PC, but if you're looking for something that's like, like up here, then I think this is the one for you. So of course when I found out this laptop had Windows 11, I really like experimented with it and tried out all the new features. So I'm going to give you guys tips so you can maximize your work and your gaming with Windows 11. First of all, when it comes to the look of Windows 11, it is nice, it is clean and sleek. None of the nonsense that's in your way, so it really makes sure that it focuses on you, your work, and your gaming. If you have a touch-enabled laptop like this one, then Windows 11 is actually very touch-friendly as well. Now, if you are just as excited as me to go and get the Windows 11 upgraded on your computer, then it is only available so far for the Ryzen 2000 series and up. But as we know it, like right this moment, AMD is rolling that out so it can now function on that operating system. Let's check it out. So first things first, when you get your new laptop, you want to personalize it and make it your own. Slap on a wallpaper and download your apps. You can actually get your favorite social networking sites as apps through the Microsoft Store, such as like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So no need to go to a browser to access the sites. You can just download it directly from the store. You can actually look forward to seeing more Android apps also on the store as well. 
All right, now let's say you're working on multiple things at once. I'm talking about you got your emails, your music playing, you're going through social media, you're editing photos, videos, gaming, whatever. There is actually a cool split screen feature that can be activated by just hovering your mouse over the maximize or restore button of your screen. A small pop-out window will appear and you can actually choose how you want your split screen to be arranged. So it's a really great way to organize multiple windows and apps. And if you actually plug in your computer to an external monitor, you can even apply your snap layouts right then and there. If you want to try out the Windows 11 Shake feature, all you have to do is press the Windows key, type in Shake. When you click on the result, just turn it on and it will enable you to minimize all the open apps and windows just by holding on the title bar and giving it a little shake. All the other windows will be minimized and if you shake the screen again, it will return all the other windows to where they first were and girl, that is so cool. To make writing emails or sending messages just so much easier, especially if you're lazy like me, you can actually turn on dictation on your device. All you have to do is hold the Windows key plus H and it allows the laptop to listen to your voice and have it transcribed. I wanted to know if you were free tomorrow to have a meeting with me at 9 a.m. Period. Let me know if this works for you. Period. Thanks! Exclamation point. So it's as easy as clicking the Windows key plus H so that you can go and type to reply to emails or replying to chats, but make sure to deactivate it once you're done or else you'll be just speaking and typing all over the place. <laughs> One way to personalize your laptop is by customizing the Start menu common folders. It's a really quick way to access your preferred folders just by clicking on the Windows key or on the Start menu. So all you have to do is go to Settings, Personalization, Start, Folders, then tick all the boxes that you want to appear on Start beside the power button. Easy peasy! Now it's so easy to play around with your laptop and really make it your own, but as a content creator I find that the Power Toys application is so good. So all you have to do is go to the Microsoft Store and download Power Toys. From the app you can actually see a bunch of different features such as color picker, fancy zones, image resizer, and awake, and I'll talk you through each one. So as someone who does graphic design, sometimes I need to figure out which color I need to match my drawing or photo by sampling other photos. So they actually have a color picker option. All you have to do is hold down Windows key, Shift and C to open the color picker and it will let you pick any color that is on your screen and will tell you the hex decimal code pretty much. So if you guys enjoyed snap layouts, because there are actually limited options for the layouts, Fancy Zones on Power Toys allows you to customize your split screens to as many screens as you want, just like so. You can customize where it's cut vertically, horizontally, and you can actually also adjust the size. Another super interesting part of Power Toys, I love how it just integrates things that I never knew I needed into one app. There's something here called Image Resizer, so instead of needing an external app or website to resize images, you can just right click on any image, press show more options, and then resize the image, and it will create a copy of it right then and there. Crazy! And the last feature on Power Toys and for my little tutorial is Awake. When you activate this feature, it actually disables sleep mode for a definite or indefinite period of time, so it's very handy if you're doing large file transfers that's going to take overnight. If you don't want your computer to die or go to sleep, then you should leave this on. So now that we've had a closer look at this laptop and all the cool Windows 11's tip, I'm just... I just think it's a no-brainer to go and upgrade and swap and get your Windows 11 AMD powered laptop. I think it really gives an edge over its predecessor just mainly because it has this nice, simple and clean feel and really helps you focus on what's right in front of you. The fact it has multiple features just makes it all the more reason to go and upgrade in terms of like just enhancing your creativity, your productivity and your efficiency. So as long as you have the right specs on your laptop or your PC, then go ahead and download Windows 11. You can check it in the description box for the link to upgrade. And that's it from me, your girl Ariana. If you're looking for me on social media, here are the links. Ta-da! I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!